All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak Kadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of Wolf in the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one, I just got like two verses I wanted to touch on because it deals with repentance, you know, true repentance. What is repentance? Being washed by the word. What is the word? The word is the scriptures. The word is Yahweh Shai. All right, which goes into what? The Rakah Kodash, the Holy Spirit. But there's an action that you have to take. And it's sort of like, you know, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's not, uh, you know, seasonal. You know, when you was in your Gentile frame of mind, you did the things that the Gentiles did. You thought your mind processed the way that, you know, the world taught you to process things. But when you come into this truth, you converting into righteousness and leaving from wickedness. There is no going back. And it shows in your actions. All right. So as many Israelites out here. All right. And as many of those that of the knowing that know that they are. But it's not as many as those that are actually following and walking in the truth, being sincere. And that's why the Lord, he numbered it down to what? His elect. Because the elect get it. So I want to read here Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Now... Our bodies, as Paul said, is a sacrifice. Now, Yahweh Shai, he's the ultimate sacrifice because he's the reason why we're able to come back, all right, back to the Lord. Okay, he laid his life down for the Israelites, but in particular, the elect. Now, us, being that it was our minds to go astray, and the scriptures say, seek him 10 times more, we are a sacrifice, all right? We're following in in, in the uh, steps of Yahweh Shai Let me say the elect Because Paul also made mention how We are joint heirs to Yahweh Shai Alright So when Yahweh Shai suffer we suffer When Yahweh Shai rejoice we gonna rejoice Alright So it says that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice Now this sacrifice can go a long way Sacrificing you in the world today Giving up the world You know That's a sacrifice You gave up the world you're no longer living for the pleasures of this world. You're not going into the SS of rise and the pagan holidays, celebrating. All right, you're refraining from these things because they are wicked. I'm not saying that you can't get a drink, you know, go to a bar or whatever. You know, don't be over righteous. But what I'm talking about, all right, is that you're going into these celebrations and doing what the world do. All right, which is really the, of wickedness. So you're putting a, you're, you're giving a sacrifice and not doing those things. So what happens to you? All right? Because you're not enjoying those things, life becomes what? More bitter. Okay? It feels like you're suffering cuz you are. But it's a good suffering because it's a, it's better to be purged from this world to not, you know, than to be joint unto it. All right? The Lord is doing these things for us for a reason because we have to cry out. All right? Also, this is not our rest, as the scriptures say. All right? This, this, this place is polluted, and it will lead to what? A sore destruction. You see Jake getting destroyed left and right. You know? So that's why you got to ask yourself, are you really in the truth? You know, for those out there that, that play this game, that they know that they're in the truth, and especially goes to the, you know, the uh, them, uh, whorish ass women, prideful ass women that wrap their hair and call themselves Israelites all right you got sisters also that that sincerely follow you know and and hey may Yahweh shall have mercy on those sisters you know on those women you know but the rest of them the majority this is a fact you know it's sort of like a thing to do it's popping it's cracking you know everybody want to get down because they see it's it's growing well it's growing for a reason Yahweh Shai said, this gospel shall go across the face of the earth and then shall the end come. All right. And guess what? You know, you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, going into the multitude is going to lead to your destruction. Matter of fact, the scriptures say, follow not the multitude to do evil. Don't blindly follow. Study, learn, 
take heed to the men of the Lord when they teach the word and, and, and eat it up. Let it become you. Become it, you know, so to say. All right. So it says holy. Holy means to be separate. So you got to be separate from the world. You don't take from the world and then bring it into this, this holy calling. You can't do that. You can't do it. You can't take from the world and bring into this holy calling that the Lord call, called us for. That's why it's, it's going to be beautiful, man, for those who are of the chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. It says acceptable unto Yahweh. So you got to meditate and say, well, is this acceptable unto the Most High? Is this really acceptable or am I just getting fun out of this? You know? Really, you know, we're not in a time for partying. We're not in a time. We're in a time of mourning, man. Okay? We're in a time of uh, 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 truth. We're in a time. We're going into a time of war. It says, which is your reasonable service? So what is our reasonable service? To give our body as a living sacrifice. We are in debt to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And all the Lord is asking for us is to acknowledge our sins, man. You know, walk, walk in the ways of righteousness. Come back. Now, verse 2. And be not conformed to, the, to this world. You see? Conformed to this world. What is of this world? Rap, hip-hop, you know, the sports. You know? And not saying that rapping is a sin or sports is a sin. But why would you meddle yourself? Why would you put your, your, your uh, treasures on things on, of, of carnal when you see that this place is crumbling? You know, it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. So let's go into the word renewing. Let's go into that renewing. Greek word. Strong's G342. Anakinosis. Anakinosis. Alright. So, renewing. It says a renewal, renovation, complete change for the better. What is a complete change for the better? The way that you manage yourself, which I'm going to get in 2 Peter. A renewal, a renovation. All right. Complete change for the better. Renewing. All right. So let's see here. Let's see what it says. Ooh. Renewal. If there is a renewal or an or activity or a situation it starts again so we're given a second chance to start again all right that's that what becoming that new creature putting away the old man so the lord have truly given us a chance to repent while the times of repentance is open because the doors of repentance are closing and judgment is set so a renewal renovation let's see what that said All right, renovation. So I can let's go back. Oh, let's get. Well, let me go back to renewal first. And let's get transformed too. So bear with me. Okay, renewing. So renovation, renewing. Complete change, complete change for the better. Complete change for the better. Now let's get transformed. Because the renewing is what? The mind. Renewing of your mind, as it says. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed in the renewing of your mind. So let's get transformed. Strong's G, 
Metamorpho. Metamorpho. To change into another form, to transform, to transfigure. Yahweh's appearance was changed. All right. Let's see. Change, transfigure, transform. So you want to transform. All right. You're not physically yet. The Lord will physically transform us into those new bodies. But right now, it's the what? Transforming and renewing of the mind. Okay. So let me go back and read it again. It says, and be not conformed to this, to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove, because you got to prove, you got to prove yourself, man. All right, to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh You have to prove yourself. That's why Paul said, uh, faith without works is dead, man. He said, I can show you my faith by my works. All right, your works prove, okay, that, that, you know, uh, you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You have to be proved. It's, you have to prove. It says that ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. All right, so now let me jump from here and let me get uh, 2 Peter 3. I jump straight to the point, verse 11. Okay, it says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, all right, because we know we're headed into the, the end of Esau. All right, calamity, great destruction. All right, forcing of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. These forks of vaccinations, a famine on food and water. All of these things will come. All right, so oh, World War III, when Babylon will be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire. So it says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be? In all holy conversation and godliness now most people hear conversation and they don't look up words so they think you can't talk you can't curse well that's not even curse not say rude words you can't say fuck bitch ass motherfucker all that you know no the conversation what it means it means how you manage yourself what person ought ye to be that's why it's set up it's set up that way that's how you know it's talking about the uh the person you are all right of person it says of man what manner of person ought ye you to be what person are you to be right and all holy holy means separate right conversation what is this conversation the strong's g391 anastrafe anastrafe all right it says manner of life how do you manage yourself in your life? Do you manage yourself as a nigga? You call yourself a thug, all right? What you this? You you a goddess? You call yourself a diva? Which one is it? Which way you manage yourself? All right. What you a rapper? You know? What are you? It says conduct, conduct. All right. How do you you know goes into what? How do you behave? And the next word is what? Behavior, deportment. So manner of life, conduct, behavior. So what behavior do you carry? What attitude do you have? We of the whole four elect, knowing that we're Hebrew Israelites and woken up to this truth, we have to manner our life according to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. According to, you know, especially the times in which we're living in, because we're living in perilous times. All right? It says conduct. We conduct ourselves according to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. All right? Behavior. We behave ourselves according to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. It says depart, deportment. Deportment. Now let's see here. Now deportment. Your deportment is the way you behave, especially the way you walk and move. Woo. Your deportment is the way you behave, especially the way you walk and move. So the way you move and walk, hey, that's how Jake could tell what you are, man. You know, even by 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 what by looking at you, the way you walk, the way you move, you could tell if that you know he a. Uh, he a thug, you know, he a sl slicker, you know, he, he, uh, you know, he, 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 uh, he a Mac, you know, how he, you know, you know, hey, Jake could tell, man, all right, or, or you this conniving, wicked man, you know, sneaky, okay, same as for women, you can tell, but what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Now, let me just go right back, because I didn't mean to go out real quick. Okay, let's see. Uh, man of life, conduct, behavior, deportment. Okay, that's it. So, you know, 
It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what man of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So we supposed to be carrying ourselves in godliness, man. You know, and that's why a lot of you guys out there that know that you Israelites, you're going to be destroyed, man. Because you're not walking in the ways of, of holiness and godliness. You know, scriptures say many are called and few are chosen. And uh, us of the whole for elect, we want to be the chosen. You know, it's a race. You know, we're running a marathon. You know, to hopefully be of the Lord's chosen. Be of the Lord's elect. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh. And we're so nearer than we ever, ever believed before, man. We're so nearer to the kingdom and Yahweh shall return in. Than we ever believed before, man. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fair and heat. Alright. So it says, nevertheless, we according to, to his promise. Alright, we according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what we're looking for. A new heaven. All right, which is a refreshed earth, a refreshed heaven. Everything's starting over. So if Esau, on the, on his way of uh, pushing the reset button, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is on his way to pushing the reset button. So with that, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.